1776, tensions surmounted in the British colonies after the passing of a series of oppressive acts and taxes that had enraged and belittled the colonists. Their battle cry of freedom became, taxation without representation is tyranny. However, the colonists did not understand the true meaning behind what they desired. They were afraid of the consequences of liberty. Dissolving the political bands that once connected the mother country with themselves instigated fear among Americans. Having fired the first shots at Lexington and Concord, burning the British Navy in Boston, confronting the British upon the hill, there still seemed to be a hesitancy among the colonies. Thomas Paine, an unaccomplished, middle-aged Englishman, wielding a letter of introduction from Benjamin Franklin, would see it as his responsibility to confront colonial fears and present the colonists with examples on how they could survive without Great Britain. Paine's common sense accomplished what even the bloodshed at Lexington and Concord could not. A wholesale annihilation of the emotional and intellectual ties that wound the American colonies to the British crown. His word would bestow a right and a sense of responsibility for liberty in the soul in of In the summer colonist. of 1776, Thomas Paine's writing sparked revolutions around him by suggesting independence and rebellion against Great Britain. Because he felt it was necessary to escape political bans beginning in the 13 colonies, citizens were inspired to declare freedom and fight for independence from Great Britain due to the ideas suggested by the writing's common sense. Paine felt left his legacy and became a national leader when his writing began to affect revolutions around the world, attempting to convince the colonies that they deserve the rights of man and of citizen. It's not about rich men fighting other rich men for more. It's about us. It's against all privilege. It's against any system where some have unfair advantage over others. Tell the widows and orphans of Boston about the virtues of patience. I have no patience for patience. British. Common Sense was an instant bestseller. Published in January 1776 in Philadelphia, nearly 120,000 copies were in circulation by April. Paine's brilliant arguments were straightforward. He argued two main points, independence from England and the creation of a democratic republic. Besides acts on George III, he called for the establishment of the republic. Even patriot leaders like Thomas Jefferson and John Adams condemned Paine as an extremist on the issue of the post-independence government. Still, common sense grew the patriot cause. It made no difference to the leaders that Paine was the new arrival to America. Published anonymously, many readers attributed to John Adams, who denied involvement. In the end, his purpose was common sense. Why should tiny England rule the vastness of the continent? How could, can colonists expect to gain foreign support while still pro professing loyalty to the British king? How much longer can Americans stand for the repeated abuse of the crown? All these questions may lead the readers to one answer as the summer of 1776 drew near. about the USA? Do you know about the government? Can you tell me about the Constitution? Hey, learn about the USA. And the preamble goes like this. We the people, in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility. Provide for the common defense, promote the general welfare, and secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity. 